Welcome back to Onikin. We, um, lobotomized Grim after punching his entire face in. And now our synth is farting. Yes. So they say the Onikin army is developing a new type of cyber soldier. We never see it. So is this the base, or is the commander just hanging out in IT? I think this is the base? Zaka's like, is there a bathroom here? And they're just like, not now! Oh. <laughs> and then Jenny just kind of has to slide in frame. <laughs> just doing a crab walk. The director's just saying, a little more, a little more. Back to the brain palace. Oh, I love the level name of this area. It's so dumb. When I say Ginny and Rico, you know what I really mean. I kind of wish it was a stage 8 where you play as Rico, but unfortunately that's not the case. Also, we get the full team's view with Rico doing nothing. <laughs> I like how with Rico, they, they know he doesn't do anything, so they just have the one picture of him. Exactly. He's just scratching his nipple. So that's the best he can do. I think he's supposed to be the pilot. Well, if you've got a bunch of side-scrolling missions, that'd be perfect. Just have him do a cool ship. So welcome to the Brain Palace. This is pain. This sucks. This level's awful. Like, oh man, I had to stop recording for a day because this level was pissing me off. You see a lot of the traps that we see in Jenny's episode, but now that we're playing a Zaku, we can't deal with it as easily. That sword spawn is a blessing. You kind of want to keep that for a later part of the stage. I don't do it because of these guys. Fuck these guys so much. Because the idea there is that you have these three guys to deal with and the door there shoots Cheerios at you. So you're getting shot at both sides. Hey, at least the door will lower your risk of heart disease. Indeed. Even though it's part of the brain palace. It's part of the palace breakfast. <laughs> Once that's done, though, the door's really easy. Also, Doom Guy just took my sword away. He looks like he's running away going... <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Also, that area is a bit of a trap. Most people will walk off and then die. And now the hard part of the stage. Oh man, this sucks, because if you don't time your sword swipes just right, you're gonna eat shit. You tweeted specifically about this stage, I believe. Oh yeah. I was getting pissed at this stage so much. Because of that dude and the boss, but then I realized there was something so easy about the boss that it was comical. <laughs> Helicopter ninja. No, oh, we're not quite there yet, unfortunately, because I want to talk about a really pathetic boss. At least I got sword for it. So we're going to be coming up on what I consider the most pathetic mini-boss in the entire game. Falling. Yes. Look at this guy. He does absolutely nothing of threat. <laughs> you can cut everything of his. Hello, friend. Uh... <laughs> Xenomorph amputee. Oh, man. Oh, I hate this area so much. There are so many mean traps here. One of them being this. So buy Onikin today. <laughs> <laughs> Onikin has a very NES difficulty mindset. Once you get a hold of it, it's not hard. But getting a hang of it, oof. It's like getting kicked in the balls. And I would say Bionican, it goes on sale a lot for less than a dollar, and you get a lot of entertainment out of it. As we've seen Travis react to this entire Let's Play. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, coming up are two segments which are just dirty. This area right here, don't bother trying to kill any of these ads. Because if you do, you're going to lose a lot of your health. This is designed to prevent you from trying to kill them. And then you have this helicopter bastard. 
If you try to go in from the bottom, he will have just enough range to poke at you while you're crouching. This game desperately needs some kind of upgrade system like the Mega Man games do, where you get maybe better armor or a harder hitting weapon or something. Yeah, kind of. They do that in Odalis, but Onikin, I think they were going for more of like the NES difficulty. Straight Contra, where it's just like, you don't get any upgrades. You might get better weapons, but they're only temporary. Exactly. I like the grenade death for the ninjas. They just splat. <laughs> also, that ninja. Fuck that alien so much. At least you got your violin just in time. You got yeah. the fiddle. <laughs> That's another game that Joy Masher worked on, but they don't have it on their uh, website, so I don't quite know where to find it. So they're building torsos to dump into lava. <laughs> yeah, these are the rejects of the reject bot. They were just that ineffectual. I'm struggling to figure out what this alleyway is. I feel like it's that scene in the Judge Dredd movie with Stallone. Where you're the law. Yeah, also they call this place the Brain Palace for a reason. Behold a brain. This guy is very easy to manipulate if you notice the handlebars on the right, because when he starts charging at you, he goes where you start at. And when he charges up that beam, it'll determine if you're up or down and then start the beam properly. So if you realize that, you could sword this guy to death. You can also grenade him super easily too. This guy's a chump. I think he's supposed to be a reference to the uh, famous Contra boss, the robot that just tears its way in and shoots beams around. No, we're obviously not enough brains, all looks. Oh yeah. But that wasn't the boss of the stage, oh no. We've still got one more part to go, and this is actually the easiest part of the level. And hardest, paradoxically. The stage is easy, the boss itself, tough if you don't know what you're doing. The floor obviously covered in Fanta. <laughs> the floor is now Fanta. Gotta get that branding in. We were talking about Yakuza earlier, so it's definitely <laughs> <laughs> getting the branding already. Hola, Fanta. Don't die. Onikin brought to you by Fanta. <sighs> wow, I love it. When you're getting pissed off by difficulty, don't you want to be refreshed? <laughs> <laughs> Says Vice. Fuck you, Doom guy. Oh my god. <laughs> I just jumped and he shot me to a point where I'm all the way back at the start. Hey, my name's Vice. I'm from everyone's favorite game, Sega All-Star Racers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We'll miss you, Vice. And also that one RPG you didn't play. <laughs> Two of them. <laughs> How you feeling, Vice? <laughs> Great! <laughs> Oh, damn it, Zaku. Uh, uh, okay. You know, get you. <laughs> Eventually. Now, I'm not really worried about grenades at this point because this was like my 35th playthrough of the stage. Because at this point, the playthrough before I discovered a secret of the boss that actually makes it easier. We're going to try him again. Yeah. If he doesn't do well this time, we're gonna trash the entire fleet. Sir, maybe consider him not doing the pee shuffle when he walks. No, no, I think that makes him more terrifying. <laughs> yes, clearly. All children hate peas. So here's the actual boss. It's Hakan. Let's fuck him up. It is Wolverine. He looks badass. By the way, he has a berserk mode too, but there's one thing about Hakan. He can't duck. <laughs> He will attack over you in both phases. Hakan's dead. Berserker! Mirage! <laughs> Unfortunately, he doesn't get as cool a death scene as uh, Grim. His name is Kage? Yeah, that's uh, Zaku's real name. I wonder which is better. This speech always makes me laugh. <laughs> I'm evil, but you're just as evil because you kill people that kill me. And I'm just like, those were robots, dude. But yeah, this is the very stereotype anime plot of we were part of a secret sect in a village, and then you betrayed the law. <laughs> I am the law. <laughs> I like this frame right here. This is such a cool looking part. My chin is the law. 
I feel very happy right now. <laughs> you and I are the same, even though I can't duck. Sweet dreams are made of peace. Who would have the mind to disagree? <laughs> I'm a little sad he didn't say, I'll be waiting for you, boy, in hell. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the, I'll be waiting for you, haha, ha, cuts the next scene of him punching his head off. <laughs> it's just his thing. Oh, seeing that achievement is so damn satisfying. Ironically enough, the next stage is not as hard. Because now we gotta fight Dozer. Well, yeah, you're going to sleep. Oh. Oh, this is rather inconvenient, <laughs> but not too bothering, guys, okay. Oh man, he killed all my friends. Someone made me a grumpy pants. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Dozer such a dork? <laughs> He's in charge. He has to be. Yes. So stage six isn't hard. It's just got a lot of newbie traps. That box being one of them, but I've brained that column so many times that I could just get it without a problem. Then you have these jumps, which you have to hold your jump instead of just tapping it. If you don't uh, know that, you'll get tapped and then fall into the pit of victory, and then time to run this again. This game, it does have jump sensitivity. Yep. And they only make it important here, which is strange, I guess, but it's the last level, so I don't mind. I did notice you doing that with some of the grenade throws. Yeah. There goes my sword. I hate these bugs. So am I. No, you still got the sword. Uh, not enough to go Berserker Barrage, which was what I was hoping to do. I actually had a better cut for this, but I used this cut because A, it's the one I did a no death on, and B, the Dozer fight actually gets pretty exciting. Unlike all the other fights so far. <laughs> well, in the other cut, I actually had sword and I just cheesed Dozer phase two. Here, you have to earn it. Dozer makes him sound way cooler than it is. His name is Doozer. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, which makes it even funnier. Oh, I was so mad here when I got no sword and ten grenades, but I was like, fuck it. I'm finishing this. Doozer is the name of a guy who talks like this. <laughs> yes. Hi, I'm Doozer. How are you? Oh, this shit is on, loser! <laughs> so Dozer has... In his first phase, he has two attacks. He has this teleport slash, which is insanely easy to predict. And after two of those, he does... This weird attack. My favorite superhero is Superman! <laughs> what is supposed to happen is that the balls are supposed to drop down alternatively. But they drop so slow that you could just grenade him to death. Oh, somebody made me a grumpy pants! Phase two, he has this attack, and then he has that tackle that you showed off. But, fuck it. No longer will you beat up the nerd. No. The nerd gets beat up. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, I pooped my pants. That was a moment of weakness. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> One health left. Oh. Damn. By the way, if you're wondering what the mainframe is... Death. It's a piece of shit. I'm the real dozer. Crotch scorpion tank. Our main frames are Gundams. <laughs> exactly. And now for the cheesiest cutscene in the game. I guess it's up to me to save the day. Yeah, right, Rico. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that perfect little path. My kneecaps built this. So yeah, the mainframe's gonna go berserk now because Dozer was the one controlling it and we, um, killed him. I like how Janine's like, yeah, yeah, stop dying, we need to save the day. Uh, that's basically what the plot is here. Quick, you need to CPR the guy you decapitated. <laughs> I don't think he got decapitated, I think that was the other guy. Hakan was honorably dueled. Dozer was disemboweled, we punched the head off of Grimm. I think only, uh, Geist was decapitated. Also, check this shit out. <laughs> that frame looked like Zaku got pressed into a panini maker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Zaku, are you okay? No. I can't feel pain. 
FLSC warning. Final mission. Yeah, he actually did the pose! We're not recycling assets! <laughs> the last level is kind of an auto-scroller. It's actually pretty hard, but I actually practiced this game before uh, doing the LP recordings, so I still have the muscle memory there. <laughs> I don't need my armor. All I need is my sword and my guts. And a motorcycle! <laughs> and a motorcycle, yeah. Damn you, Doom Guy. And we also get the last secret here, which is just another Zaku. Now here they give you a hint of how to dodge this attack too. Cause that's gonna be very important. Get away from me! <laughs> Mainframe's like, I'm out of here, loser. <laughs> oh god, the mainframe is vice. <laughs> Take that asshole. Moonstone cannon. <laughs> so this is a three-phase fight? The first phase, you want to destroy this turret that is protecting his boosters so you could actually get in and shoot him to death. Protecting his ass. I thought you were going to say protecting his booty. <laughs> he's only vulnerable when he's not doing that fireball attack. And the fact that he was doing it for so long was frustrating me so much. He's more frustrating. Moonstone Cannon. <laughs> we actually want Moonstone Cannon because that's the only time he's vulnerable. How ironic, that's what all I want. I just hear Travis melting. Oh, what an ineffectual attack. So he broke his booster, so he goes faster. Of course. And now that I'm lighter without it. <laughs> now for this phase of the fight, we want to expose his core. Which is a little bit tricky because your gun doesn't have auto shoot. So you have to mash both jumping and shooting in order to get that open. And all the while he's shooting those bullshit missiles at you. Behold, I am YouTube's main server. <laughs> Behold, I detect. You want your videos processed how quickly, bitch? <laughs> now, luckily, in between these phases, they heal your HP, so phase three is actually really easy. As we crash a fucking motorcycle into him. I hope you enjoy my compression cannon. <laughs> Even though you don't get Berserker Blade for this fight, it's actually a really easy fight, just because of how often he uses Moonstone Cannon. I can't believe we're actually calling it Moonstone Cannon. <laughs> you should. <laughs> we only just finished Skies of Arcadia recently. This is true. Travis, the man who creates new nouns for everyday words. Yeah. And there goes the mainframe. No, the video will error now, no! <laughs> Funny, because I was actually worried about this level when I was doing the recordings, but stage five was actually the hardest. Hey there, I have the game over screen now. This video will be blocked as copyrighted material. I was going to put my thumb through my fist, but that would have been rude. <laughs> Hi, loser. See you. Tell me it ends with a kiss with Jenny and the credits start rolling. Uh... Sadly, no. Damn it. It's not that cliche. But we do get a cool scene of New York as the Brain Palace is destroyed. That's a nice view of destruction and me doing nothing. Well, I do like that Jenny's a badass woman and she doesn't need to be anything else. Exactly. I just thought we were going to follow the complete stereotype thing. And again, the same sprite. <laughs> You background people don't matter. You wanna come to my apartment? <laughs> Zaku? <laughs> no, I have to go home. My apartment, we're uh, roommates. <laughs> oh, well, uh, I, I guess that. I mean, I get what they were doing here. It's, uh, it's definitely like end of Fist of the North Star homage. But like, they still did a pretty good job with this. Also, Rico got a new sprite. Actually, th no, that's his uh, stage three completion sprite. Never mind. Rico, you didn't do shit. Exactly. I'm guessing they made this game in, what, a month? I honestly don't know. This was their first game ever, and they put it on retail initially for like five bucks. But yeah, that was Onikin, and it's probably one of my favorite indie games. 
really hard, but it has a lot of charm. Also, we get our Mega Man 2 ending. Or the Hulk. He's hitchhiking. <laughs> he tries to hitchhike, but everybody's just running away because they see this hulked out man with no t-shirt. He just walks directly into Mr. Drippy. <laughs> Where are you going, cousin boy? <laughs> also, we get to see this cool sunset again. I don't know why, but I really like that backdrop. I want him to cut to each of those characters doing something. Like, maybe Jenny is betting on a cockfight. <laughs> what? Um, <laughs> Rico is posing in front of a grenade. The same pose. Yep, <laughs> as it's about to explode. It doesn't explode, but you know. We can dream. This was definitely a lot of ambition, but this was like their first project, so some stuff couldn't get done. I feel like their second game takes a lot of... Uh, what, what are words? They get a lot of things correct in the next game, though there's not as much cutscenes in the next game, unfortunately. I feel like this is actually just a shot of Zaku walking to find a bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I finally get to poop. <laughs> Oh, thank God, a village over there. I'm home. I can finally poop in peace, because I can't use public restrooms. Welcome to the Shire. Yeah, kinda. I do like this game, though. I hate it, and I like it, and I hate it. Trying to know death run this was so frustrating. But at least they give you thank you for playing, which is pretty much a telltale sign of a great developer. As long as they didn't put, and you. <laughs> and that was Onikin. Hope you enjoyed that viewing of an OVA. Next up is Odalis, the Dark Call. I gotta get to recording those, actually. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> All right, we'll be back someday, Zuko. <laughs> <laughs> Down, boy. That was grim. He has no mouth anymore. That game is super fun. Most of the difficulty comes from the first playthrough, naturally, so it seems kind of short now. But if you play yourself, it's going to be really tough. So uh, I would say get it at any price. It goes on sale a lot for like 50 cents. So if you got pocket change, support the developers. This game is really good. Just go buy it if you can. Just ignore all those points where uh, Wang was saying, I hate this. I'm so mad. <laughs> I'm coming fresh off recording, so I'm still in that mode of, Jesus Christ, I'm so angry. But yeah, I'll get a Dallas up soon, and um, I'm actually confident in that game, so we'll see you then. Goodbye. Why is Dozer Pee Wee Herman? Doozer. 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 <laughs> Doozer's a loser. <laughs> hey, you're probably right, but don't. I never thought of that. Oh, God damn it. It's because we were calling him Dozer. We were making him cooler than he was. <laughs> yeah, everyone knew he was Doozer. <laughs> the developers are going to watch this open. And they're like, shit. <laughs> no, they're just like, that's how we created the character. Wow. <laughs> Finally, somebody got it. <laughs> <laughs>